Heading into its final season at Sam Boyd Stadium before transitioning into the new Allegiant Stadium, UNLV hopes to hit the jackpot with a bowl berth in Tony Sanchez's fifth season leading the program. I'm Tamara Brown in the Mountain West Network studio with the scoop as we count down to kickoff with the UNLV Rebels. Armani Rogers is back healthy after missing six games with a foot injury in 2018. The dual threat quarterback was the Mountain West Freshman of the Year in 2017 when he was one of five quarterbacks in the nation who averaged at least 140 passing yards and 75 rushing yards per game. Before being slowed by injury, the Rebel Junior rushed for 565 yards and passed for 610 yards a season ago. Fully recovered Rodgers is hoping to regain the form that made him one of the top offensive weapons in the Mountain West. When Armand is healthy, it, it, it changes the whole look of our team. I mean, you look at the first four games of the season last year, I mean, played really well against SC Arkansas State, the two wins we had. And then you look at the last three and the way we ended, you know, Armand had a real big impact on that last game against Reno. He's an X factor. I mean, I think he's got the ability to be one of the most uh, transformative players in the Mountain West. So when he's in there, it gives us a shot to be a, a special football team. I'm in a great mindset right now. I'm feeling 100% right now and just expecting myself to just keep stepping up, moving forward, keep the offense under control, stay healthy, and just make big plays and just keep moving, keep moving forward. Wide receiver Tyleek Collins is the offensive player to watch for the UNLV Rebels. The sophomore had two games where he tallied over 100 receiving yards, including a breakout performance at San Jose State with nine catches for 170 yards and four touchdowns. With senior wide receiver Brandon Presley out with an ACL injury, Collins moves to the top of the depth chart and will be one of the top deep threats for the Rebels. He's a very dynamic player. He can take a, a, a bubble to the house. He can go take a post, beat you up top. He just move around all, top of, all around the field. He takes fly sweeps and he's just a dynamic player. You know, you saw last year he had some really impactful games and he kind of got quiet for a couple of games, then he would do it again. Part of that's the way we call the offense and making sure we get him the ball more. He's a guy that when he touches it early, he kind of gets that hot hand. We got to do a good job of getting him the ball early and often. Headlining the Rebels defense is senior linebacker Javen White. He is one of four Mountain West returners who recorded four interceptions last season. The veteran also had four forced fumbles and is looking forward to leading UNLV's defense. Everything is about that ball, so I've tried to strive myself to find that ball, and I love the ball, especially when it gets in my hands. So I just try to make sure I, I can get that ball and make sure our team understands that, you know, you know, it's okay that we may not be getting a lot of tackles, but a turnover can change that up real quick. We have to lower the less explosive plays that we do. We have to make sure we tackle good, and when we're supposed to get off the field, we got to get off the field. Simple as that. You know, if, as long as we do those three things, we'll be perfectly fine. Looking ahead at the UNLV schedule, the Rebels have slated three bowl teams in non-conference play, including Arkansas State, Northwestern, and Vanderbilt. The game to keep an eye out for is in week three when the Rebels travel to Evanston, Illinois for a matinee matchup against the Wildcats. Oh man, I'm excited to play Northwestern. They're just going to be a great team. You know, they're, they're a big, big, big team and you know, they just got to the Big Ten Championship so they're coming off a great season and I plan on having a, having a fun game versus them. Fans have had a lot to be excited about during the offseason with the Tita Complex nearing completion and Allegiant Stadium also progressing at a rapid pace. But the real excitement is going to come on Saturdays during the football season where Coach Sanchez and his team are looking to get a winning season and possible postseason play. Uh, to do that, running back Charles Williams is going to fill some pretty big shoes replacing Lexington Thomas. He's shown over the past during his career at UNLV that he's an explosive player with big play capabilities, so he'll look to make an impact all season long. Also, the Rebels have added a sophomore wide receiver transfer from USC and Randall Grimes. He's a 6'4", 205 pound receiver who's already made some big plays during camp and has become a favorite target of Armani Rogers, so he'll make an impact as well. Thank you, Caleb, for taking the time to talk to me on UNLV's Countdown to Kickoff. The Rebels' last home opener in Sam Boyd Stadium is August 31st against Southern Utah at 7 p.m. Pacific time. This feature has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of the Mountain West. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Tamara Brown.